Hello everyone, Aiden Barber here from the Poke Report inside Gallagher Ive Arena where the Cowgirls just came off a big victory against TCU. Snapped a five game losing streak and Coach Littell seemed very happy for good reason of course. Uh, you know, it was the biggest losing streak I think of the whole year for the Cowgirls. So to come off this big win in, in, such, in the fashion that they did, moving the ball from, from one side of the court to the other and getting, getting help from, from five Cowgirls actually in, in who got 10 points tonight. It's a huge deal, and it, it was a big sigh of relief, it seemed like, for Coach to tell. It's, um, it's nice to have that feeling again. It's been a while. And uh, happy for our, our players, happy for our coaches, happy for our fans. Uh, thought we did uh, things uh, a lot better. Proud of the way our, the way our kids have hung in and, and uh, played tonight, especially under adverse conditions. So a uh, lot, lot of positive things you could draw on. TCU's hard to guard. They throw five people out there that shoot over 38% from the three line. And uh, it's just a big challenge for us. And they score the basketball so well. For the most part, I thought we did a pretty good job. We, we started fouling too much in the fourth quarter and allowed them to uh, score with a clock stop. But, our ball movement was good. Um, they were getting double teams to us early, and we started swinging the ball at the end of the first half and did it from pretty much the second half. And um, this is a halftime stat. Do we have somebody have one right there? Thank you. Um, you know, uh, I thought we did a pretty good job attacking their press and, and playing north and south and, and going there. Uh, had some kids step up. Diana Mosley played probably the best game of her career here. And when you can add somebody that can score off the dribble a little bit, it it helps it helps uh, create more opportunities. Cowgirls Kaylee Jensen and Diana Mosley both had career highs tonight for the Cowgirls. And you know it wasn't just them. They they obviously contributed a, a great deal. But they they like I said they got five five of their players had ten points at least. Uh, Diana Omazi, who has been a uh, background player, a complimentary player for most of her time here. She's a senior now, and she went out and, and had her first start in about a month, and she went out and had 16 points. Uh, so it was, it was a great performance for her, and Kaylee Jensen had her 14th double-double of the season with 32 points and 15 rebounds. And you know, TCU was not giving her any, any help. They were triple team in her, quadruple team in her, even Latell said. So you, it, was, it was really good to see them battle through all of that. And here, here's what they had to say about, about their big nights. Um, it's amazing. This is an amazing win, especially since it was a total team win. Um, we had five in double figures tonight. And it was just such a fun game to play mm -hmm. just because everyone was sharing the ball, we were working together. It was, it was a good one. You know what that last win before this new streak was against Kansas, but it was the closest one you, you know, fought for that win. This one was kind of more more fun, like you say. Were you truly really, you know, happy out there getting to play in the fourth quarter? Yeah, it was an exciting game. And I think we still worked for this one, but um, it was just, I don't even know what to say. It's just, just trying to get back to feeling good about playing mm -hmm. and having fun. A lot of good things happen when you're actually out there and you're having fun. So we're just trying to like keep each other encouraged and just try to have fun and like see what happens. You seemed a lot more aggressive tonight, Diana. Was, was that Coach Latella did he tell you to just go out there and uh, Yeah, he kind of just told me like try to do what I do best, which is driving. So any chance I got after we reversed the ball a little bit and the clock was running down, I would try to break somebody down and just get to the hole. And luckily today my shots were falling finally, so <laughs> that was good. Walk us through that that breakaway. You got the you got the steal, and then you had the breakaway, and that nice euro on the other side. Oh yeah. Well, I got like I kind of tipped it away, and I like I had two defenders, two TCU players going for it, and like both of them kind of looked at each other like, oh, are you gonna get it? Are you gonna get it? And so I was just like, okay, well I'll get it, and then I just went down, and I I knew she was gonna try to take a charge, so I just. Tried to do my best Ginobili imper impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it for me inside Gallagher Ibo Arena. Again, the Cowgirls win against TCU. And up next for the Cowgirls, they travel south to Waco to face Baylor. So another huge test for them coming off a big win. So.